An important part of our work here at the MCD is to make sure that research findings on drugs are accessible to policymakers and to practitioners. In this context, our Scientific Paper Award promotes scientific writing and it celebrates high quality research in the field of illicit drugs. The award was launched in 2011 and we firmly believe that it has become a valuable channel for disseminating research results and for improving the European knowledge base in the field of drugs and drug addiction. We launched the award for scientific publishing as a common activity of the EMCDDA and the scientific committee. And we are very proud that this year we already get 64 applications. ECOS has set up an inventory of quality standards, initiated a consensus building process and established a set of European minimal quality standards for treatment, rehabilitation and harm reduction in the field of drug dependence and treatment. Those are ready to use in implementation processes of new services and treatments or for the revision of existing ones. The serotonin transporter is a target for amphetamines and sits in serotonergic neuronal membranes. The question that we asked was if the regulation of these transporters and thereby the amphetamine action can actually take place by membrane constituents. And we found out that this is exactly the case, that phosphoinositides coming from the neuronal membrane regulate amphetamine action and thereby this opens a completely new field. The current study was focused at uh, investigating whether a childhood diagnosis of ADHD uh, increased the risk of developing substance use disorder and nicotine dependence. For this, we used a large sample of over a thousand participants. We found that a childhood diagnosis of ADHD did increase the risk of developing substance use disorder and nicotine dependence, and also lowered the age of first use. Our paper shows that heavy use over time can actually replace what we currently mean by substance use disorders or addiction. It is linked to the physiological changes in the brain. It is also linked to the consequences of drug use, of substance use. And it is linked to the social consequences as well. In addition, it will help reduce stigmatization which is currently one of the biggest problems in substance use disorders. We look for this award to improve scientific publishing in Europe, but also to improve the basis for utilization of results in policy, in practice, and for reducing the drug-related problems in Europe.